Hi, I'm Terry White with Terry White and Design Your Life. Design your life for the way you live and make it unique to you and forget the rest of the world. Hope that you are coming back and watching the show. If you are a first time viewer, please subscribe uh, and, and help us out. But what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bar. And I know if you've watched the show before, you've seen the bar, but the bar is a, in a constant state of tweaking. I've moved the chandelier. I've moved it back over where the bartender would be or more centrally over the bar. Down a little art direction, not quite happy with it. We'll revisit it. Uh, new shades on the boob lamps. Uh, the shades, I just bought very inexpensive shades and I painted them with Rust-Oleum paint, which is waterproof. Uh, and uh, they are outside, even though they're under cover, moisture is still sort of an issue. But I painted them to match the base of the, of the bar because I wanted a little bit more cohesive, you know, kind of feel. Um, but other than that, uh, I have added a couple of wine coolers, uh, a red wine and a white wine, uh, because that's what the masters of the house drink. Uh, yes, we can make it a full bar if we're having uh, some people over, but for the most part, this is just for us to enjoy the outdoor living space. Uh, I also, uh, you'll see this fruit behind me, I made a discovery uh, when we set up originally for a party that if you move your citrus fruit outside, you don't have the fruit fly problem inside. And the fruit seems to last really just as long out here uh, as it did inside. So this is now my storage area for the fruit. Love the oranges. The oranges kind of repeat back a little bit to the orange of the Vouv labels. So that gives it a completely more of a design, you know, kind of look. And of course I have my coconuts and you've seen my coconuts before. And a really good fan, maybe a stalker, sent me these. <laughs> because of my love of coconuts. But that's, that's all we'll say about that uh, uh, for the time being. You'll also notice I've got a vase full of hydrangeas. These are store-bought macrophilias. Uh, I've got a couple of the Annabelles uh, that, from my garden in there, but in general. And then I also, I brought out some artwork from the house. This is a crayon sculpture by a good friend of mine and local artist, Herb Williams, who has a, a show at the Frist Learning Center at Cheekwood through the 29th of August. If I'm, I'm close if I'm not exact, but you should go take your kids because his show is, um, uh, made out of uh, canine representations, but all made completely out of crayons. It really, he's a wonderfully uh, talented artist and a fellow ADD to be able to sit there and cut and form these creatures out of crayons hour after hour. <laughs> You'll also notice that I've uh, rearranged and made my bird nest collection. Uh, you know, I just am constantly in the garden and I find bird's nests. And before I will pluck one, I will wait for a week or two to make sure that the nest is completely abandoned before I pluck it out. But this is one of my favorite nests that I have found. And it was in a Norway pine but oh my god the yeah. artistry i just really really one of my favorites but then we're starting at the bar 
Yes, we should end at the bar, and we will at some point. But let's go, let's talk about some other fun things. I'm gonna do a very quick little, little piece of serendipity uh, for you with some of the hydrangeas from my garden. They have become papery to the touch, which means they're, they're ready to dry if you would like to dry them to be able to come in and bring them into your house and make an arrangement out of them. But also, um, they are perfect without drying completely. But if you wanna dry them for inside the house, lock them in your car for 24 hours. That will completely evaporate all the moisture from them and you won't get mold or brownie uh, kind of texture. And they'll last for a year or even longer. They do fade. But I have just chopped some with a pair of scissors. And you see this mess down front? That was take one. <laughs> Emily's making me do it again. <laughs> anyway, uh, just randomly, this, this is not brain science, brain surgery. You just randomly cut them, make a pile, spread them out the way you want them to be. Now, you can make the center heavy or you can make the outside heavy, but really just a pile of chopped up hydrangeas. Then you take your second piece of glass like I showed you back last fall when we did a cake stand. And you instantly have a wonderful, wonderful party table. And this will last for really three or four weeks. Uh, the one that I had there previously lasted uh, for about three weeks. But this is um, the kind of thing that we have done over the last two or three months uh, because wedding season is coming back some. People are excited and they're wanting to get out and make beauty. We have spread so much beauty over the city in the last couple of months, it's, it's hard to say. And maybe if I'm really nice to Emily, at the end of the show, she will do a montage or something of some of the wonderful work that we have done uh, around Nashville for the weddings uh, that have happened. But we did this for a cake table uh, and a very large version, 60 inch round uh, with two pieces of 60 inch glass for a cake and then decorated the cake with the same wonderful green hydrangeas. Now, I know everybody wants to be me. Everybody wants to work with flowers all day long. They wanna play. But I want to tell you that one of the reasons that we have not been as regular at posting a new video was injuries, injuries, injuries. During a wedding, creating a wedding. Uh, broken toes, peeled back toenails, lost teeth, all because of a door a heavy door on the front of a church that Terry happened to be hanging a wreath on the door at the moment that his most wonderful exuberant employee burst out of said door <laughs> and cold caught me. <laughs> but we're through that now and I'm back to, back to good health and I hope that you are as well. Let's go up to the Moss Garden. And here we are up in Terry's beautiful moss garden in full sun. This is where it all began. Happy one year anniversary to Design Your Life with Terry White. We have enjoyed over 30 episodes of Terry inspiring us to design our lives. And we can't wait to see what other projects Terry has in store and what beauty he is going to inspire indoors and out. And just as promised, we want to show you what the English Garden crew has been up to around Nashville. We have been spreading beauty with flowers and event design in weddings and events. We're so happy to be back and we're glad that everything is starting to look a little bit more normal now. We hope you'll stay tuned for that last photo because you'll get to see that infamous injury door. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you again soon.